Just like you brush your teeth, your dog needs to brush their teeth, but since they lack the opposable thumb, you're gonna have to help them do it. Dogs that are eating kibble are real prone to a lot of dental disease and gum diseases. And the reason for that is that the kibble has sugars uh, and starches in it that attach to the teeth. Those can decay teeth, cause gum disease, and the such. Dogs that eat raw food, raw bones, um, turkey necks and stuff like that have a lot easier time keeping their teeth clean, but we still want to brush their teeth. So the two things you're going to need is a good quality dog toothbrush, and I do recommend using a dog toothbrush, and some good quality dog toothpaste. This is an all natural um, toothpaste by Sentry. There's tons of great toothpaste available that are all natural for your dog. Uh, most importantly, I think you should think about the amount of time you're going to brush your dog's teeth. Some people say to do it once a week. I like to do it whenever I can. So that'll usually be every other day or every day if I, if I really am thinking about it. So the toothbrush, the toothpaste, and your dog. The first thing you're going to do is get your dog used to the idea of something going into his mouth. So I'll take a little bit of toothpaste. Goofy, come here. And I'll let him lick it off. Usually these toothpaste taste pretty good and I'll put it on my finger here and I'll let him lick it off. The second stage is I'll put it on my finger and I'll put my finger in his mouth. I'll show you on this side so you can see it better. I put the toothpaste on my finger and I start to rub it inside my dog's mouth and on his teeth so he gets used to that feeling that something is gonna enter his mouth and he's not gonna bite it. So toothpaste, put it on his, in his mouth. He's enjoying the taste. I can start moving his lips around and such. The third phase is I'm gonna put it onto the toothbrush and I'm gonna let him lick it off. So this is the whole first part of this exercise is he's gonna to get to lick yummy, yummy toothpaste off of his toothbrush. And he's gonna have fun doing it. Good, good boy. And every once in a while we'll sneak a kiss in there. Good. So now when I put it on the toothbrush here, I really like to mangle it into the bristles like this a lot so that he can't just lick it off the top like he's trying to do. Hang on, Goofy. And then what I'll do is take the toothbrush and start to introduce it into his mouth. And the main part I want to brush is these back teeth, the, the molars and such here. And the more I can brush this way, you're not going to really be able to see it as much, but if you lift up here, you'll see where the toothbrush is. And we're cleaning the upper canine, or the upper molars and then the lower molars in the back, and those are the back most teeth. And that's where most tooth decay will set in on your dog's teeth, because that's where most saliva is, is held. I'll do the same thing on this side here, on the other side. If you're right-handed, it's always easier to use your right hand on both, like this here. Let me turn it around here so you can see it a little bit better. So here. And then I'll try to scrape the canines down, don't be afraid if you see a little blood on the toothbrush. Some dog's teeth tend to, or gums tend to bleed a little tiny bit. Use plenty of toothpaste without overdoing it. Don't use a whole tube, but smear it on there. It's always easier too if your dog is a little bit higher. So if you put them on a table or a little wall like we're doing here. And then here we brush, 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 brush. In the beginning, keep this really short, this experience, because you don't want to stress out your dog. The front teeth you're going to see are not as important to clean, but we can reach in here and clean behind them. Be sure to clean the sides here and inside as well, the inside of the teeth, because that's something you forget, just like when you brush your teeth. You're brushing the outside, which looks really nice, but you're never getting to brush inside and the bottoms of the teeth like that. And when your dog's done, make sure you let them continue to lick and get more toothpaste off of there so that he sees that this is a game, not necessarily something challenging. And the more he likes the toothpaste and the toothbrush, the more likely he is to let you brush his teeth very, very often and enjoy it. And that's a really important tip for dental health for your dog. Thanks, Goofy. Hey, hey, you okay? Is that it? Is that it? Good boy. And nothing better than getting kissed by a dog who has fresh, clean, minty breath. This would be very, very disgusting if the dog had dirty teeth. <laughs>